Hello and welcome back to Grim Survival. As the title probably gave away, I am building something. <clears throat> you can just call me Grim Vila for the rest of this. Yeah, no, don't. Please don't do that. All right, Gremlins. Gremlins unite. Gremlins, we need to uh, learn to build things. So I'm taking this. And this thing is really long. I mean, this is like... I think it's a six footer. So I'm going to try to do this while sitting at the desk and see how well that works out for me. Maybe. And I'm going to basically attach this to the end of this. Now this is really the only goal here is just to attach this to the end of this. I don't intend to put any like feathers on the end of it or, or make it like th throwable because this is more of a, a melee type of experiment for those of you who get the reference. So, what I'm going to be doing is taking the drill, uh, one of my smaller bits. I actually have some smaller ones than that, so I'm, I'm debating on size here. I'm trying to compare it to the actual threading on the the tip of this. I don't. I didn't look it up. So I'm going with something that I think is about even, maybe just slightly smaller. So there's a chance I might have to make it just slightly bigger. There's a chance. That's the wrong one. Yeah, that's not working very well. Very small drill bits. Don't do too well in the drill. Unless you're very precise. There we go. We got it. So, I do have a pin. I did not grab a measuring tape to measure center. I should probably do that just to make sure it's at least centered. So, I will go find the measuring tape. And edit the video all right so this dowel rod appears to be about three quarters of an inch diameter seems to be perfectly round three quarters of an inch so I need about a quarter of an inch in and a quarter of an inch to the side this thing was in my vehicle and it's like ice it's like holding ice so yeah this is not the funnest thing here so I'm going to try to mark it roughly at a quarter inch. It's kind of hard to do from this angle. Then I'm going to mark it at a quarter inch also this way. And then I'm going to try to center it. And this is not the easiest way to do this, believe me. There is easier ways to do this, especially when you can't see what you're doing. Let's try it from this side. Anybody have a, a spare hand I could borrow? I need, I need an extra one. So basically, because it's round, the dot, yeah, I need to come from this way. There we go. And just about a quarter of an inch on the other dot should give me a, a, a basic idea. Yeah, that worked. So I gotta know which dot is center, so I'm gonna make that one a little bit bigger. And this is obviously not gonna be absolutely perfect, it's not. Now, the goal was not to go too deep with this drill bit because I can only go in about that far. So I think I can actually, and yeah, let's see if I can adjust this just slightly. There we go. I think I can actually mark it with that, but uh, for simplicity reasons and, oh, there you are. And how to do this correctly, I'm going to use a little bit of this tape and mark my depth on the drill bit. Now obviously there's other ways you could do this. You could do this with a hand auger if you have one or a multi-tool. That would definitely be a little bit more work and take a little longer. This obviously is not a primitive type of weapon because a primitive weapon would not be made with uh, an arrowhead to say the least. It would be made with rocks, stones, something along those lines. So the tape's not perfect. Obviously, it doesn't need to be because it's a temporary thing. So, yeah. Now I'm going to drill to the tape. Try not to split the wood. So I'm going to go very slowly with this. And try to get it as straight as I can while I'm working at this odd angle. I can actually see it better on the camera than I can in front of me. But here it goes anyway. Um, obviously, this thing is really long. So if I mess it up the first time, I can cut it off and try again. So...
There we go. Now I only have a little bit of sawdust in my lap. That's convenient. It looks a little off-centered, but this thing doesn't look perfectly round when I look straight in at it. And yeah, the hole is just a little tight, so I'm not sure if it'll actually screw in there or not. It kind of feels like it will. So I'm going to try that out. Yeah, it actually is threading fairly well. It's going to probably thread very well. Now, the, the biggest takeaway right here is don't cut yourself. Right? Right. Yeah, it's, it's actually going to thread in there pretty tight. I'm still going to use a little bit of a glue. But I'm going to thread it all the way in before I use the glue just to make sure it's going to go as deep as I want it to. And yeah, that's a little tight. So it's getting kind of hard to do. But it is threading, which is a surprise to me. As you know, or you may not know, um, arrowheads have threading on them now i'm not sure if the broadheads i'm using are actually plastic it, it feels like plastic yeah it's plastic so it's a plastic threading on these uh, broadheads but yeah and it's definitely a little lopsided there so i'll try to keep it as straight as i can as i go in and try my best not to cut myself if i start bleeding I will show you proper first aid. How's that sound? I'm not sure I'll actually need to use the glue. Although, like I said, it's still going a little crooked. But because it's plastic, I'm able to straighten it up somewhat. There is a good chance I may be able to actually test this today if I don't bother with the glue. I have to keep taking breaks because it's getting really tight and hurting my fingers so keep that in mind finger strength is required and I'm still having to bend it back a little bit to straighten it up just by eyeballing it I can tell that it's a little crooked there we go twist the dow but it also because it's not perfectly centered because this thing is not perfectly round. There is a flat spot on one side. But wow, that's in there really tightly. So I'm really just thinking I'm not going to bother with the glue. I'm really thinking I'm not bothering with glue. <clears throat> yeah, that's in there. That's really in there. That's not coming out. So I could have gone with a thinner dowel rod. Try to get it on camera for you probably a little thinner diameter but as you can see the blades are sticking out past the wood and that's going to be key there in using it for hunting or whatever other uses you may find for it like stabbing the wood i'm about to go test this out on sharp all right so that's basically it now i, I talked about this in a video that you could pretty pretty easily make one of these things it wouldn't be hard to make something like this and to be able to use it for various reasons like hunting so my original thought was to take some glue and shove in there i was going to use some gorilla glue because i have gorilla glue and that would work very well you could get that on amazon you can find it at walmart pretty much any hardware store and yeah I think I'm going to take it outside by the shed and find some scrap wood and do some stabby stabby. So I'll be right back. All right, I am back. I am using earbuds for sound so that you can hear me no matter where I wander off to. Um, yeah, it's taller than me. I mean, it is definitely taller than me. Like I said, it's about six foot. It's still attached. I haven't messed with it at all. So I'm going to start by testing it on that. Now, keep in mind, this is a dowel rod. So this is soft wood. This is pine, yellow pine. And there's a good chance we could break the dowel rod when hitting something fairly hard with it. That's okay. I don't care if I break it. I don't care if I break the tip. It's a pure test purpose. So 
I'm going to start by grabbing the end back here. I got gloves. And I'm going to just ram it into that wood as hard as I can. Now, I have a couple other things I plan on testing it on, uh, stabbing purposes, things like that, just to see how strong the blade actually is. So um, I will try to make sure you can see this. Now, I didn't really hit it that hard. I didn't. Um, you can see the whole depth in that. I'd say it went in a total of about a quarter of an inch. And, and yes, I will see about throwing it in a minute, but I'm going to see how many holes I can make. And I'm going to, like I said, put my hand on the end of it. And there went the tip. I broke it off. Yeah, I broke it off right inside of there, too. Plastic. That's what we get for using plastic. Now i got to find it. Oh, there it is. I actually broke the tip off of this. Oh, there you are. I broke the tip off of the arrowhead, and I broke the plastic off the back with that one good hit. So that is a fail. And I'm still going to post it just to see how I failed. Uh, what I was going to test it on was some shingles and things like that that I have in the shed just to see. So these arrowheads are definitely not ones I'd recommend. It's mostly constructed of plastic, and that's the failure of that particular arrowhead. So I will definitely have to acquire some metal ones before doing this again. But that being said, I will trim off this end. I will get some more expensive uh, all metal arrowheads, and I will attempt this experiment one more time. So I'm just going to store this thing in the shed for now. Trash that, because it's definitely not needed. And go in and edit this video, just so you can see how well I failed. So that's, you know, it's not a bad thing to fail. It's a good idea to test these things prior to ever having to use it for anything. And like I said, the first time I didn't really hit it that hard. The second time I put a little more power into it. Not nearly as much as I could have, but I did put more power into it. And as you can see, broken arrowhead. So not a total fail, I would say. The arrowhead failed. The wood held up. Uh, the dowel rod, that is, but the arrowhead and the plastic that it was constructed with completely failed. I didn't think to look into uh, better arrowheads when I was, you know, getting the parts I needed for this experiment. So, hey, it was a good learning experience. So, thank you guys for watching. I would post the link for the arrowheads on the on the in the description from Amazon because that's where I purchased them from but those things are a piece of junk so I will not be doing that I will keep the rest of them because they would still be used in a pinch um, just for small game things like that if you wanted to you could also rig several different types of traps using those things even though they're plastic it'll still get one good shot out of it. So, yeah, I will find some metal arrowheads and try this again in a later video. But like I said, this has been James of Grim Survival. Thank you guys for watching How It Failed, and I will see you next time. Mm, maybe.